Hey everybody, welcome to Cajun Living and Cooking. My name is Rodney Dupree and today we got a pretty cool show for y'all. We're at Fred's on the River. This is one week after Hurricane Ida and hardly anybody has power at all. This was supposed to be the first ever Fred's Fest and Postalaya cook-off, so we've changed that. What we have today is pretty cool. We're gonna have jambalaya, we're gonna have postalaya. I hear they're frying some fish. We're gonna be collecting food for the people down south who had it worse, and we have free music. So y'all hang on. Cajun Living and Cooking's fixing to start right about now. Tideline, trout line, sitting on a pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread and mustard greens, that's how we live and it sure feels fine. Well, you can't change us, that's the way we know. Cajun people live like they did long ago. So join the fun, live off the land, cause there ain't nothing better than a Louisiana Line, trap line, sitting on a pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread, mustard greens, that's how we live, and it sure feels fine. All right, y'all made it over to some of the cooks. Let's get their names and where they're from. Wayne Carpenter from Denham Springs. Garrett Rickles from Walker, Louisiana. Jerry Brent from Denham Springs. What you got going here, man? A jambalaya. It's a big one. It's a big one, 30 gallons. We're going to feed the public today. All right, now. With what they got. Exactly. Now, what uh, what brings y'all out, or what, uh, what, what created this? Jerry Lane Chevrolet sponsored this part for the jambalaya. They're going to be a live band here. Chase Tyler and Kendall Schaefer going to be playing. Everybody needs a break right now, and if you want it, come get it now, because this is where it's going to happen. Yeah, and it's pretty nice too. But this rain falling right now is not a not a hundred degrees outside. So what we're doing today? We got free concert. We actually giving some food to the people who need it. Uh, stuff the truck. Stuff the truck. Uh, if you got extra supplies you want to give to the public, they'll fill it up in the truck and they're gonna take it and distribute it to who needs supplies. It's still a while. That's good. And then all the food we're cooking is going to people around here, be it linemen or... Be it linemen, just people that want a hot meal. We're going to fix them to-go plates. You can come sit here and listen to music and eat whatever I'm, you want. How many sandwiches you had this week? Uh, if I could tell you, I, I can't count. It, I'm sick of them. I won't, I won't eat sandwich for a while, but uh, all right. Jambalaya's going. We're going to check on the pasta lie. Y'all hang on. All right, y'all, made it over to the other pot. I got the cook here. Let's get his name and where he's from. My name's Keith Baston. I'm from Port Vincent. Now, uh, what you got going today? Got a little pasta lie going on. Uh, Fred's Bar Rooms bought a pasta lie, bought the ingredients. So we're cooking and uh, going to serve it to anybody that needs food today, hot food. Um, a lot of good volunteers out here helping today. A lot of people in the area need, need our assistance, and uh, we're trying to do everything we can. Now, Jerry Lane's give it, Fred's give it. Uh, we're going to be stuffing the truck for the people. Uh, hopefully the linemen's come by. So uh, i tell you, what, uh, how much you putting in here, this big old pot of pasta lye? 20, 20 pounds sausage, 20 pounds pork. Oh, wow. How much noodles get, will go in there? 10 pounds. 10 pounds of noodles. That ought to fill it right on up to the top. That's right. How many uh, sandwiches have you ate in the last week? <laughs> Plenty of sandwiches. All the lunch meat in the refrigerator, everything, man. It's it's been uh, been all right. The, the storms, you know, the the craziest thing to me that I've learned living off the generator, and I got my power back last night. The hardest thing for me was getting in that cold shower or bath, man. That's the roughest thing, bro. Every time I went in the room, I still turn the light switch on. Even when you yeah. got no power, you still yeah, turn it on. yeah. I go in the back, click, and I got a headlight on my head, but I. That's right. That's right. <laughs> All right, we're going to get this going. We're going to have some food in a little while. we got entertainment coming, so y'all hang on. All right, y'all, something I want to tell y'all about hurricanes that not everybody knows. Um, it, it kills the fish is what it does. And, and as you see, we got dead fish out here everywhere. Dead fish are starting to float. And this is one week after the hurricane. And it's uh, just getting worse. We're looking out at the fish. They're out here bubbling up. Um, you can see them gasping for oxygen and what it does the trees fall in the water and it takes all the oxygen out of the water so the fish die and uh, I remember in 92 Hurricane Andrew 
it was good fishing before that, man. But when Andrew came and it, we had that big fish kill, I'm going to tell you, um, it was probably four years or so before we could start catching fish again. Um, some fish live, it don't get them all, but uh, it's pretty bad. So that's, that's one, of the, one of the bad things that happened um, from a hurricane. Not counting being out of power and eating sandwiches, but uh, just another bad thing. Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Rodney Dupree. And I'm Holly Pilgrim. And I'm gonna tell y'all what, this is something really neat. Due to COVID, with um, not much going on in the world of festivals, fairs, and cooking contests, we started a cooking class at Galvis Hardware. And this is not your normal class where you get a certificate or go to work at a five-star restaurant when it's over. This class, you're gonna learn Cajun cooking the way we do it. Learn history of our food and facts about our food. It's Thursday nights, 10 weeks in a row, starting July 22nd to September 23rd from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. and the class is only $40 with six to eight menu items for each class and so much more that's not listed, but only 12 spots for each class. So if you want to get in, you better sign up now. You can check us out on Facebook at Cajun Living and Cooking or at Galvis Hardware and Outdoor Cooking. And we'll see you in the class. Dreams Come True of Louisiana is a nonprofit organization that grants dreams to Louisiana children between ages 3 and 18 with a life threatening illness. Dreams Come True was founded in 1982 by seven families in Denham Springs with a goal of providing dreams to children. All funding was initially provided by those families. Dreams Come True is proud to have one paid employee and provides dreams throughout the state of Louisiana. Dreams Come True provides an average of 65 to 70 dreams per year. Visit our website for more information, dctofla.com. Fred's Bar on the River has something for everyone. Open seven days a week. Football on the big screen TV, pool tables, golf, darts, and the new boat launch bar. Ladies night on Wednesdays. Thursdays is open mic night. Karaoke on Fridays with DJ Rocky. Live bands on Saturday and Sundays. The Giant River Bar is air-conditioned and ready to book your company's events or your Christmas parties. Come out and enjoy a good time on the river. Galvez Hardware and Outdoor Cooking has the largest selection of grills and outdoor cooking supplies in South Louisiana. Let our team help you select the right equipment for your cooking needs. Our unique inventory of cookware is second to none. Whether you are looking for a new cast iron or ceramic coated pot and burner, a new charcoal, gas, or pellet grill, or anything to help you with your outdoor cookout, come to Galvez Hardware because good food brings people together. You're watching Cajun Living and Cooking. All right, y'all, we're in the big truck, and with me, I have Chase Tyler and his wife, Lindsay. How's it going? Good, brother. How are you? Doing good. We were supposed to have something totally different here today, <laughs> and then a hurricane came, Yeah. and now we're doing something really cool. Won't you tell the folks uh, what we're doing? Man, so this is, this is really cool. Yeah, it's, today was supposed to be Fred's Fest, and it was going to be the first annual Fred's Fest, and obviously I had to change things a little bit, so we're kind of rolling with the flow, and we can change as well, and we're just going to do a big benefit for anybody that needs it. We're out here cooking jambalaya for 300 people. And anybody that needs a hot meal for lunch, we got you right here. Everything's free. And we're going to do a little concert inside as well. Um, myself, Kendall Schaefer, Chris LeBlanc, we're going to get on stage and we're going to do a free concert from 2 to 5. And we want everybody to come out. And in lieu of paying to get in, if you would, just bring a tarp, some toothpaste, some shampoo, soap, water. We're trying to fill this truck donated by Jerry Lane for today and today only. We want to fill this bad boy up and give it to anyone that needs it in hurricane relief, and we're just trying to do the best we can with what we have at this point. That's, that's good stuff. This is good stuff. <laughs> what, would you like to add something to it, Lindsay? No, y'all just come out and support. You know, we were blessed to not have damage to our home, so we're just doing the best we can to support anybody around here who needs the help. Cool. All right, y'all. We got music coming, too. <laughs> All right, y'all. I got some of the folks dropping off stuff here. Let's get his name and where he's from. Brent Reason of Alls Parish, Louisiana. Now, y'all just pulled up here with a truckload of stuff and a trailer load of stuff. Um, where, where does all this come from? 
Well, yesterday we went to Home Depot in Alexandria, Louisiana, and they graciously donated a pallet of water, which consists of 84 cases. Wow. We did a little thing on Facebook, um, asking people to donate. We got right at $2,000 in monetary funds Woo! donated, and we went shop on a shopping spree and bought right at $1,400 of, of stuff, what wow. we could carry. And um, we got right at $400 left, and we're going to put that money towards uh, refugee um, nursing home patients that was left um, taken from New Orleans area down to Avalos Parish. Gotcha, and we're going to gotcha. buy them supplies and stuff with the rest remaining money. That's good stuff, bro. This is good stuff. This is people helping people. That's correct. And hopefully we're going to fill this truck up. Thank y'all. We have been in these shoes before, and um, we know how, how it feels. Yes. So um, we figured it was our turn to do something, pay back. Awesome. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Thank you. All right, y'all. We're getting ready. We got the rice going in. Oh, that's fancy right there. Side cut and just let it fall in. How many pounds of rice is going? 40 pounds. 40 pounds of rice. That's a lot, huh? That's a lot. We can do 50, but we're going to do 40 to try not to push the lid. Right. You don't want to puff the lid up right. too high. <laughs> you got good help today, though. Oh, yeah. There it is, y'all. So you're going to stir it. You're going to turn it down low, leave the lid on. We'll have jambalaya in how long? Right there in about 30 minutes, 45 minutes. There it is. If it pops up good, we'll be ready. There we go. All right, y'all. I got some folks here y'all got to meet. Let's get their names and where they're from. Randy Abbott from North Carolina and Kim Key from uh, Tennessee. Now, tell me what y'all doing out here for the hurricane. We are the disaster response team for telecommunication for cell phone towers. And uh, we're out here in support of the power outages in the community. And also, too, we do emergency fueling. Okay, so we got a lot of things going on right now in different directions and, and in support of the, uh, the storm, the hurricane that came through Ida. Now, this boat here, you telling me it's a new rig we got going. Y'all going to do some testing before y'all head out to the coast. That's correct. That's correct. Yeah. All right. Well, we're ready to hear her run for uh, let's 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 let her ride. Let's see let's see what she got. All right, bro, it's balling up. What we got going? Going in with the pasta, man. That's a lot of pasta. We're gonna do about half and then stir it around, then probably do half again. Gotcha, gotcha. And we were talking. You, you, I seen you tasting it. So before you put that pasta, you want a little more. You want it a little bit salty and a little bit spicy, so that it's almost too much before the pasta. But after the pasta soaks up the season, it makes it just right. Right. So, when you put this in, what's your next step? What do you do? Stir it, just mix it around, add the rest of the pasta, and let it let the water boil and cook the pasta. Gotcha. That's about it. And uh, how long with the lid on? Just keep testing the pasta until it's, you know, gotcha. the right way, the right texture. Gotcha. All right, bro. We got pasta live coming up. All right, y'all, we hanging on the river, and I got the man who runs the gig over here at Fred's. Let's get his name and where he's from. I'm Josh Burns from uh, Cincinnati, Ohio, but don't hold it against me. We live in Prairieville now, so. All right. Yeah. Bro, we got something really cool going on today. It was supposed to be something else. Now it's something even better, so let's tell them what we got going. Yeah, um, you know, we, we went through the hurricane. Um, people without power, people have been cleaning up, the, you know, all week. Uh, it's supposed to be, yeah, like you said, Rodney, a big event. But luckily, you know, we were able to get the power back up. Thanks to David Rashto and, you know, Chase and these guys are putting on something for the community that you know, normally don't happen on stage. This is going to be something big Absolutely. when all these guys get together up there. And that's just one part of this. All the food we cooking for the people who's around and linemen. And then, bro, it's, it's, uh, it's so many things going on today out here that um, I'd like to thank Fred's and you for, you know, being a part of this, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we're cooking for a lot of people, all the linemen, anybody who's in need. Uh, you know, shout out Jerry Lane. Uh, did, did a pasta live, or, or jumbo live, I'm sorry, for 300 people. We also got some pasta live. We're going to be frying some fish later, you know, feeding all the linemen. And, yeah, got a good thing going over here, man. It's for the community. And it is, y'all. Hey, they do a good job over here. We got some pasta live coming up, some jumbo live coming up. We're going to taste it. So y'all hang on. Be good. Hey, everybody. How's it going? I'm Rodney Dupree. And I'm Holly Pilgrim. And I'm going to tell y'all what, this is something really neat. 
due to COVID, with um, not much going on in the world of festivals, fairs, and cooking contests, we started a cooking class at Galvis Hardware. And this is not your normal class where you get a certificate or go to work at a five-star restaurant when it's over. This class, you're going to learn Cajun cooking the way we do it. Learn history of our food and facts about our food. It's Thursday nights, 10 weeks in a row starting July 22nd to September 23rd from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. and the class is only $40 with six to eight menu items for each class and so much more that's not listed but only 12 spots for each class so if you want to get in you better sign up now. You can check us out on Facebook at Cajun Living and Cooking or at Galvis Hardware and Outdoor Cooking and we'll see you in the class. The new, completely renovated Fred's on the River Food Mark, located at the Port Vincent Bridge, is now back open and better than ever. With biscuits, coffee, and sandwiches ready every morning at 4.30 to get you started. And a full breakfast menu from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. featuring homemade hash browns, pancakes, eggs, and our country-style biscuits and gravy. Our newly renovated store has all your needs from local vendors, plus cold beer, lottery, gas, and tobacco. Try our new lunch and dinner menu featuring our famous boat launch burger, overstuffed New Orleans style pressed po' boys, 100% beef hamburgers, pizza, and by far the best onion strings you have ever tasted. So come by and enjoy Fred's on the River Food Mart, where we've come back bigger and better than ever, but we haven't lost our hometown feel. Corral fish season is coming soon. It's time to move into the 21st century with the new high-performance cookers and super boilers. With our new state-of-the-art technology, the 120-quart pots come to a boil in under 7 minutes and the return boil in under 2 minutes. This fast return boil is key to perfectly cooked crawfish, all while using far less propane. Now, no more mushy crawfish using the old, outdated slow boilers. Monogramming Unlimited specializes in corporate and small business embroidery on a wide variety of clothing and accessories like shirts, jackets, hats, bags, and much more. Our screen printing department is perfect for you. A very affordable way to advertise your business, club, team, or event. We also handle business cards, promotional items like pins and huggies, trophies, medals, plaques, banners, and signs. No job is too big or too small. Call or come by today. You're watching Cajun Living and Cooking. All right, y'all. Got some folks here tasting the food. Let's get their names and where they're from. I'm Angela Mobley. We're from Houston, Texas. My husband, Kirk Mobley. Hello, Kirk Mobley. How's it going? Real good. How's that food? Very good. <laughs> It's uh, y'all get a lot of jambalaya over there. Oh yeah, do? I cook it, but not like here. No. <laughs> it's not like here. So you wasn't here for the hurricane. No. You're here to help your insurance adjusters for all the folks that have trouble. Correct. Yes, we're insurance adjusters down here trying to help everyone get their claims in, get get back to normal life, the best they can. And that's what this food's for for people like y'all coming to help. Hey, thank y'all. Thank you. All right, y'all. I got some cool folks right here. Y'all got to meet. And what they're doing is incredible. So let's get their names and where they're from. Brian San Angelo from Gonzales, Louisiana. Anthony Gallopi from Santa Maul. Justin Newsom from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Caffrey Jackson, Santa Maul, Louisiana. Kevin Dykes, Gonzales, Louisiana. Jean Perro Raceland. Pat Michel, Santa Maul. I got Jay Villeneuve from Gonzales, Louisiana. Jason Badami, Gonzales, Louisiana. Matthew sitting on Prairieville. Calvin Ardwan, Santa Maria, Louisiana. Hey, bro, tell me what y'all doing? Cooking for all the linemen today. Uh, yesterday they showed up. They cooked a big thing for the LSU game, and a bunch of linemen showed up. Haven't had a warm meal in a couple days. They were eating with their fingers. They were wow. so hungry. Wow. So we decided today everybody got up this morning, went to the store, called a couple of friends and family, and provided all the food and everything for everyone today. So. We're cooking for all the linemen, first responders, of course. We're going to do some pasta lives. Of course, we got a little competition going. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. And then fry some fish, fry some french fries, and try to feed as many people as we can. That's good stuff, y'all. That's people helping people right here. Some of these got power. I think some of them do. Some don't. Some don't have the powers, but uh, that's people helping people. So here it is, y'all. All right, y'all, we got some folks here. I'm going to let them introduce themselves because this is cool stuff, y'all. This is cool. I'm Josh. 
I'm Chris LeBlanc. Kendall Schaefer. Chase Tyler. And uh, they in here fixing the jam and throw down. So we want to get a little personal with them a little bit. Uh, some neat questions for them. Uh, where was you for the hurricane or how'd you do? Did you leave her? I stayed at the house. I, I couldn't leave, man. I just don't want to leave my place, and uh, I wasn't going to leave, so I stayed at the house and uh, ended up watching a tree come down in the backyard and then, you know, did a little bit around. After that, you know, had some friends come over and chop it up, and there it is. It's at the road now, and I'm good, you know. Power on? Yeah, power's on, too. Yes. Yeah, so. I went to a friend's house, and I, we were about ready to kill each other, so my Power came on yesterday, and thank God. And <laughs> we don't want to go into a whole bunch of details with that, but <laughs> God's good. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's <right>. good. <laughs> God, I stayed for the hurricane, guys. I, I'm I, I live in Watson, and we were lucky enough to not have any damage of any kind. We lost power and water for a couple of days, and we got power back two days ago. So I'm I'm blessed uh, a lot more than a lot of other people. Gotcha, gotcha. How many sandwiches did you eat, bro? I, I lost count at about 17 peanut butter and jelly, uh, ham and turkey, and uh, you know I, I, I don't I didn't keep count, but a lot. We'll just put it that way. I ran out of bread. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I right, got another one for y'all. Where'd you grow up at? Uh, Baton Rouge is my hometown. Yeah, I grew up in Baton Rouge. Galvez, Louisiana. Woo! Woo -woo. I'm from Denham Springs, but I live in Watson now. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. If you were not an entertainer, what would you be doing? Uh, I would want to do some philanthropist type work, you know, giving, giving people, helping people out wherever they need. I would love to go and, and save more lives if I could. That'd be awesome. That's cool. I, I think I would want to be president. Uh, <laughs> I want you to be president, please. Yeah, I think I would want to be president and um, I'm a construction worker right now, so being a president probably would beat that so that would be an upgrade yeah awesome. oh my God. absolutely I'd vote for you today. guys I I would definitely be roadieing for these guys I, I <laughs> like that's I, it's been music since I was 17 years old so I've never really done anything else other than music in in some way shape or form so it's it, I would have done something in music whether it be on stage or right, off in right. some kind of way yeah uh, if you had to listen to one band the rest of your life who would it be Leonard Skinner. Leonard Skinner. I'm with these guys, but currently Blackberry Smoke. I know yeah. you're a big Smoke oh, fan. Right? So, you know, oh, yes, oh, absolutely. absolutely. Were you in the school band? Yes, I was. What'd you play? I played trumpet, baritone, and French horn. I wasn't in the school band, but I had my own band when I was in school. I didn't make it that far in school. I think they kicked me out before I got a chance to get that far in school. So I, I no, I, I did not. Was not in band. <laughs> well, I got another question. Who inspired you to play music to this day? Uh, my dad and a bunch of family and a, a bunch of great musicians. But the closest ones was my dad for sure. Same here. My dad. He taught me the traditional chords, three chords, and the truth in country music, and yes, I took sir. off with it. Yes, sir. My mom, actually, she, she learned to play guitar when she was a kid, and she taught me my first three chords, and, and I kind of took it from there. So definitely her. My whole family plays music, but definitely my mom. I got one more, since it's a cooking show. Yeah. If somebody wanted to buy you some food or what food, what's your go-to food? What, what's your food? Uh, I love grilled redfish. I love fresh fish. Fish, fish, fish. <laughs> anything barbecue. Anything. Well, I'll say anything. Like possum and stuff like that. I don't really get down like that. But, uh, you know, pulled pork and ribs and stuff. Yeah, right. I, I can get down with that. Possum, I'm... I don't know about all that. Chase? <laughs> Guys, in the end, it, you know, if I had to choose one food, it would probably be crawfish. Uh, it, I know it's seasonal, but it, it when it comes around, I look forward to it every year, and that's my go-to one thing that I would I would choose for the rest of my life. Cool, cool. All right, y'all, I want to thank Fred's. I want to thank Jerry Lane. I want to thank y'all, and I'm going to get y'all out of this sun, and <laughs> let's get back out there and rock, y'all. Thank you. I appreciate it. Right here,
Porsche's sausage, located in French settlement, is bringing back that old country smokehouse flavor in customer service. This third generation family, dating back to 1946, has all your favorites hog crackers, beef jerky, head cheese, and smoked sausage. Like the old days of Donald Porsche, our on site butcher has all your specialties smoked tasso and hocks, andouille, meat sticks, and Uncle D's Bayou blend. Come and experience Porsche's sausage. It's a wonderful thing. You're watching Cajun Living and Cooking. Look at here, y'all. What a what a good day today, y'all. Uh, how much fish you frying there, Matt? About 100 pounds. Wow. And uh, the linemen and all are coming here to get the food. Linemen at Central Parish Sheriff's Office and uh, State Police, we're going to call them and get them to come get some food. Yeah. Gotcha. Y'all, we got good food. We've been having good music. What can you say about this area? We are Ascension Strong. Ascension Strong. And I want to thank y'all for watching Cajun Living and Cooking, and we'll see you next week.